Now, here's the neat thing. The connective tissue is where the blood supply and the nerves live. So people say, well, how painful is the Brightcomb's procedure? And I say, well, it's not terribly painful. Now, there is some discomfort that people are going to notice something's been done. But in terms of like magnitude, many times, uh, in fact, it's very rare that I give anything more than just over-the-counter pain meds because it's just not that invasive. There is a change in diet, clearly. If you take the epithelium off, you're not going to want to eat anything that has spicy or acidic or salty foods for the first few days as you're healing. But beyond that, there's not a lot associated with it. So the way that it works is that the radio energy selectively chooses the epithelium. It stays in the epithelium. It doesn't go into the connective tissue. Now, the back story to this, it gets a little bit more complicated because it has to do with something called impedance. So if you're an electrical engineer, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But trust me, it has to do with, imagine it like resistance to electricity flowing. So electricity is like water. It follows the path of least resistance. It follows the path of the epithelium because there's less resistance there and there's more water there. In the connective tissue, the collagen itself, it's a little bit more dense. It doesn't have as much moisture. So there's a barrier layer between the two called the basal cells and the uh, radio energy contains itself within that and creates this separating effect. 